Welcome back on Mod's Time. So we'll carry on today um, with actually adding the switch, the switch which will reverse the polarity of a DC motor of the Ozito and will allow us to do backlaps with a flick of a switch on and off. I'll be so easy. So now I identified my cables. So on the Ozito, red and black actually are positive negative coming from the battery. So they are coming from the battery slot right there going into the motherboard right here. And then the blue and the brown are coming out the motherboard and going into our motor. Well, it helps. Yeah, I didn't have the color blue and brown, so that's all right. That's nothing to it makes things easier. But uh, when they're color coded, but that's all right. So I'll note blue color in my case would be my red color. So blue is going to be my red color, and the brown from the Uzito doesn't matter what are they really. And the brown from the Uzito is going to go into be um, the black one. So we'll need again our switch we made earlier and then we have a bit of a T-piece as well, male, female. Um, one of the difficulties I had, so I'll unplug the motor or just tap into there. One of the difficulties I had was actually they are the same T-piece joiners but they are slightly different if you see this one is more clear so um, yeah, I'm not sure that speaks of a quality or not. So I had to improvise. So I had to remove that one from there and actually add it on my switch side, right? Before going any further, we'll sort out the switch, the terminals for the switch. So as our diagram spoke earlier, uh, the edged ones which is this one's in my case, they'll be coming from the battery, so I need to wire them to the battery, like that. Um, and then, the middle one, they go to the motor, so I'll have to wire them there. So basically blue, in my case, is red color, and brown will be uh, black color. So on, on the side coming from the battery. So I'll just chop off this end, and I'll fit in some adapters. So looking, as I said before, blue is red. So in this case, I need to put a... Looks like this end is gonna be, it's all female, so I need to make only males to make it work. So I'll get the males plugs out. So I got my males plugs out. Um, Alrighty, I'll just wire them into here. So I'll use my crimple tool again. I'll just do only one in front of the camera and then everything else I'll do off the camera so it's just easier. Uh, I'll do two and a half again. Cut. Okay. I'm sure there are better ways of doing it. Yeah, I just do basically. I'll try and join in as long as it stays it doesn't. Doesn't matter to me if it's professional done or not. But I'm sure there are better ways of doing it. If you know them, you apply them. You got the skills, the tools, do it. Okay. Okay. Same way, I'll just give it a pull. Looks like it's all good, so I'll pause it for a second. Oops, <laughs> I got the wrong wire. That's right, I'll fix it off the camera in a second. 
Yeah, all right. So as I was saying, I <laughs> put the mail on the wrong side. That's okay. You know, we are back on the ones coming from the battery. So I got the both males in. Make sure the cables are relatively the same length. That's going to help later on. Um, okay, before we plug it in there, I was saying we can't use these because they're a little bit different. They don't, they're not quite compa compatible. So what I'm going to do, I have this little screwdriver here. So if you look in there, there are a couple of pins. I'm not sure you can see. There are a couple of pins you have to poke in. All right. And then this one comes out loose, just like that. Okay, and then later on, I will add my female later on. Okay, so now I'm going to use this on this side right there so they are compatible and they're actually working together. So, as I said before, blue in my case is red so red here is on the lower t so you have to open it up just like that i don't know if you can see you need that hook open and then you will plug it red is blue on the t side yep so it joins with the blue color and black one is brown so I'll have to make sure again I have to poke that little lock out which I think already is yes yep and I'll just poke it in there just like a bit twisted here quite awesome now let's try him on here let's see yep so that's basically plugged in so I worked out my timing sources on the battery now I have my two cables going to the motor so I'll do it in the same way I'll have red one look to the blue and brown with the black on this side here so I'll get to clean up my hands and I need females I got the males there I need the females two females I got one here throw another one from the bag out Yep, and we'll do the same. I'll do one wire on the camera, the other one off the camera, so just to shorten the video, unnecessary information. I'll give it a clean. Remember, you will try, you will fail. Lots of times, don't give up. Keep trying, and good results are gonna happen. Um, alrighty, I'll do that one there. The same way. Keep the wires flush. Right. Give them a good squeeze. That's one done. And the second one. Okay. Okay. Alright, I'll give it a bit of a pull, that's pretty strong right there, and I'll do the other one off camera. Alrighty, got my both ends sorted out. Now, you have to watch out, one is for females obviously, and one end is for males. So this is the male, I'll use it on the motor side. Okay, now, um, I'll just make a, one, a plug anyway, it doesn't matter which one way for now, I'll just make it my own. So this one goes there, clicks in, and then that one goes uh, there. Click in, beautiful. Okay, so as I have mentioned before, when I'm going to make my plug here, I'll make sure to the red goes blue color. So I'll put the blue one on the lower bit here before I plug it in, I'll just pin this one out, I'll push it out a bit so it locks in nicely. Okay. So I'll push it in. That's click. Push out as well. Then done. 
done. Alrighty, now we'll just push it in, try and lock it if we can. Okay, awesome. Now we have our connection. Alrighty, before I install the mower, the switch to the mower, I'll um, put the battery pretty quick and then I'll see which one is forward and which one is backwards and then I'll mark it on the switch and then I can choose a spot for my switch. I'll be back with you guys and girls. Okay, battery is back in. Now, when you're dealing with it, please, yeah, be extra careful. My switch is, haven't finished it yet, it's still as it is, which is good because it allows me to play with it, so that's why I didn't bother too much about fixing it. it probably in a case you will need someone to give you a hand or, um, yeah, just keeps your hands away from the reel, obviously, too sharp, so I'll just flick it in one way. I'll just, no, it's middle off, flick it one way, now it's cutting, last time when I mowed I hit a rock, so I might need to do another back lap on it, so now I'm cutting, it's touching a bit of metal there, now I'm cutting, so I'll just, this end here, I will mark it, is forward, so I know, I'll just mark this end there, this is forward side, Forward, forward, okay. Now I'll flick it backwards. See if that one works as well. I'll just check everything before I pull the battery apart and install the switch. And beautiful. Look at that battle lock. It's too easy, it's going. And mowing. Awesome. Alrighty, I'll pause the video again. And I'll get back in a minute. Okay, once... Uh, the battery's out. Safety first, everyone. <laughs> um, now, we'll have to find a sport for our switch. So, myself, actually, I uh, chose to go on this side right here. Only because the switch and the cables are going to get covered. Um, but the same... Black cover as the motor is covered basically and protected. Well, I guess that's up to you what you want to do. Um, if you follow backwards all the steps of hooking up this switch to the machine, you basically can uh, connect it back together and no one will ever know you had a switch to back up it. So your warranty will be safe there. Now, uh, what is the first sign? I made a bit of a hole, I drilled a bit of a hole here in the mower, so to be able to put it there and have access from outside, I made this, I made this hole right there. Well, I guess that's a pretty much a sign the frame was damaged and that might be a warranty trigger. Obviously, any company really, if you tamper with their product, they, they will void warranty if something goes wrong. So yeah, I just went that way because that one falls it's on top of the motor basically and as I was saying and the black covering is going to cover on the bottom so it's going to be nice and neat I made a hole obviously use this beautiful here and that's about diameter of the hole was about 12 mils for the switch just check a switch, switch is plenty of switches there on eBay I uh, see what you get and uh, do a hole accordingly. I chose that spot and it's a bit of a work in progress here. A bit of a level regards, I don't know, mow, uh, back lap and a bit of a wine and beer in between. Depends what you love, I guess. It's good to go around or even juice. Maybe I'll just add their juice as well. You share please in comments what would you write there. Um, Pro is not required after learning that once I soft wet the whole installation, everything was still running. But anyway, I had a bit of a flat uh, tube, a bicycle air tube was hanging around the garage. And I just cut a bit of a hole there. So I'm going to actually put it here. So it's going to stop the water, if would be any, from entering into the motor side. Right, something like that. Just a bit of extra. Extra, extra, which probably is not going to be required. 
Alrighty, so up to you if you want to leave it plugged or unplug it from these two. I'll just make sure I put this side, the mark one forward, so it actually corresponds with directions. Forward will be mowing, backward will be backlapping. So I'll take account of that when I'll actually install it and fix it in my pre-drill hole there already. So switch should be just sliding in, in there, just like that. And then it's going to be a bit of mapping around trying to fit it through the, the hole, which I'll pause the video so it doesn't take me way too long. And it's not going to work like that. Um, just remember last time I actually had to pull the wheel apart and actually unloose some screws from here so it gives me a bit more clearance, uh, which is fine because we're going to get there. So now while we have a switch, your mower is not going to back up. We still have the last modification to be done to the mower, so I'll quickly take the wheel off and then we'll go from there. Okay, so to access the engine side, we'll just take this one, the wheel off. I uh, will start by, I need to remember how I done it last time. Uh, Alrighty, well it looks like this one needs a stubborn one. Yeah, after pushing it and puffing well, finally managing to unclip it. So that's done. Now we have to take this one off there. Uh, it helps if you have a special pliers. If you don't, you can use some um, screwdrivers. But there is a bit of a work to it as well. So let me. It's been a while since I pulled this one apart, so we'll try and not damage the ring in the process. Yep, that's off. And our job is not done here. We have to remove all these four screws as well. And four, and this one comes off. Don't lose any bits. All right. From this time forward, now again, we'll have to remove the belt. We need to get to that gear, okay? Because the zero's got there a safety thing, so the reel should spin only forward and not backwards by any accident so they made sure about that so i will try and use my gloves that looks like a bit of a spin don't get it catch your fingers yep that one came actually really easy this time <laughs> last time it took it way longer so that one comes off and this is the bit i'm talking about right there so that bit you take it out and then get a a drill bit or a screw drill bit cut it to the same length make sure it fits that hole right there and then we'll plug it in and that should give us control to the reel so go backwards and, and forward as your mower is now you will be only able to go one direction just for backwards is not gonna quite work so once we have upgraded that metal pin we will be putting back the belt together ah oh, took me a while to get it halfway there so I try to spin it we're done cut our fingers uh, it's a bit rough now as I was saying I, I hit a stone there so I need to back wrap it again Alrighty, that's in place and push. There is a game range engagement. We didn't lose the pain, it's in place. Awesome, now we're gonna loosen up that ball right there. Yeah, so loosen up this ball right here, which will give us, we'll loosen up that bit and will give us hopefully some full more access to it. Just a, a tiny bit, and we'll do the second one as well. Just need a bit of a plasticity in there so we can move and bend 
and we can put this one in and now we'll work on our persuasion again alrighty I know what is my issue my issue is my new connections they made the joint way longer and I have way much room there to play with and fit them in but that's okay I'll do a bit more pushing so maybe when you set up your um, switch make those cables a little bit less so hopefully the joint doesn't end up as long so it'll give you more room to play okay what I've done with my switch I pushed this wires lower in I bend them down um, so hopefully that will give me more space between the body and the motor and set up this one ha huh, challenges you gotta love a challenge gives me no choice I'll have to take these two bolts as well to loosen up and remove the motherboard and allow me to lift up the whole car case and ended up pulling both sides of the wheels well it looks like a better connection joint it actually gave me a bulkier switch than the last time and I need more space so I'll have to do a bit more pulling apart alrighty definitely that's what I'm supposed to do once those bolts are loose look that gives me so much more space so now I can play and fit in there way much more easily I don't know if you can see but that one went in straight simple as so I just had to take more bolts because it's just a bulky joint so I'll just pause it for another second to get back now so that was it is up now it's in it's easy wow so much easier now I had to remove the motherboard so um, maybe I did last time as well I can't remember now anymore anyway so switches in I will uh, put some um, the top on which is this one and then the two nuts and a bit of a washer and I'll try and give it a good tie obviously before giving a tie I made sure the forward function side I marked earlier is pointing forward so I have the right way spinning forward if you're not too fast doesn't really matter you just put it whatever and then you do one way you know you just can mark it whatever it is I just yeah I like the detail so I'll try and have it forward mowing and backwards in reverse back lapping alrighty next thing I'll put the motherboard back I'll just put it back with these two screwdrivers okay motherboard is back now before putting back any more bolts I'll plug them in again I'll do a test to make sure it spins where it needs to spin so I don't have to do it again a part I just had lots of challenges I won't mind a couple more extra but <laughs> yeah I reckon maybe it's enough for this video we'll leave some for the next one as well so everything back together fingers, fingers away batteries in I did it forward that's forward I'll flick it backwards that's backwards awesome now I'll just put all the bolts back together and then we'll leave the organizing of these cables last alrighty it took me about 10 minutes to put the sides together everything so basically just screw back everything as you unscrew them if you leave a you do it in a nice water and put the parts aside then you can't uh, stuff it up I didn't <laughs> luckily on this one yeah it was a bit of a uh, job there to put it back all good now it's back together so when we put the cables in basically try not have cables over the motor here because there's not enough clearance okay between the, the black cover and um, and the motor so just try and fit them and push them back in as much as you need you can let them a bit here bulky and then we'll squeeze them with the cover let me reset my phone here yep and let's give it a go So like just just like that now I'm gonna screw back the, um, the screws 
So I'll just pause it for another minute. It's all that flash went in, no issues, at least this one. Uh, didn't struggle as much. Alrighty, so now it's all back together. Flash, beautiful, looking good. I like it. The switch looking to shine as well. Um, yeah, what would have you done different? Would have you done anything different? Um, where would you put your switch? I guess if you make a hole in the body, basically that's a sign. I guess was what on the mower. Otherwise, the wiring, everything else, you just reverse all the steps we've done, and no one will ever even know. Will they know? How come they're gonna know? They will know. How are they gonna know? So yeah, unless you, I don't know, you're happy to leave a switch hanging off all the wires outside there somewhere. Sweet as doesn't matter. I just love to have it done nicely, flashy. Awesome. That was a good effort. There's lots of challenges today. Uh, we made through, we pushed through, keep persisting and we'll su be successful. Mm, until next time, then on mod time, just a bit of a overview of what's coming. We'll be, hmm, guess what? We'll be talking about self-propel, how I got there, and then how to modify it back as it was. Probably some of you already figured out how I got there. It all started with what, guess? With the back lap switch. Anyway, dudes and the dads have a lovely day. Until next time.